Right, so I'll be explaining how robot works. So the feature that we've spent the most time on so far, and it's a pretty cool feature, is the ability to paint designs on using the sauce onto the pizza. So we take this template and we've split the circle into six outer rings and five inner rings. And each of the outer rings, we've split them into 60 different And then the inside has 32 sectors. So on the computer, which isn't running at the moment, we can paint each of the pixels, or we can do it on paper like we have here, but in order to put that into our code, we translate it onto the computer. So this is basically a way of translating a design on a pizza into something the computer can produce. Yep, and then when the computer knows what our template is, we can paint it like we started drawing one here, We've been working on the yin and yang pattern today because compared to the other ones, that's one of the coolest. Mm -hmm. And so describe the what's on the robot there. Right, so the way that this works is we paint each pixel. So we have a servo for each of the sources. So that one will be barbecue and this one will be tomato. And we can turn the head from side to side with the motor right here. And then... Using this motor here, we can turn the entire base. Uh -huh. And then when the head to that the source comes out is over where we want to paint a pixel, we can turn on one of these two pumps here, one for each source. So the top one's tomato at the moment, bottom one's probably barbecue sauce. And this is the revolting tomato sauce we've been using and recycled about, what, eight times? <laughs> and then the cheese dispenser? Yep, so the cheese dispense is slightly less accurate than the tomatoes, so we can't put with the same accuracy if we want cheese on that dot and that dot. So what we're going to do is have it so the whole pizza can either be covered in the thick layer of cheese, a little bit of cheese, or no cheese at all, and that will be selectable in the user interface mm -hmm. that we came up with, and that's in development right now. And then it's got the feature whereby you can use a game controller to actually draw shapes and things on the, on the with the pizza, yeah. using the sources, which was kind of cool. So we don't have the controller here either, but mm. yeah, you can create your own design with the source. And also what we have here is in the works is our salami dispenser. So like no pizza would be complete without salami. And so the salami goes in the top. A slice of salami goes yeah, in the top. The slices of salami go into the top, and then the arm will just flip them out and onto the pizza. And just like with the cheese, we won't have as much accuracy to be able to put on each pixel, but we can still rotate the base when we put each of slice of salami. We just won't be able to say how far into the pizza it goes. And what does this pie here do? This one so at the top. this Raspberry Pi is for our computer vision. So it has a camera, a really small pinhole camera there, and a nice big fan that I keep putting my finger into on accident. <laughs> So one of Alex's fingers is shorter than the rest. And the camera is looking down at the pizza, and it can tell simple things like how much sauce is on the pizza, how much cheese is on the pizza. So while we're creating the pizza, if there's too little sauce, then we'll know that something's wrong with the pumps. And if there's too little cheese, there's something wrong with the cheese dispenser. Mm. And you can also see it, uh, the bird's eye view on the big monitor on the eventual machine too, which is kind of cool. Yeah, which is something that is helpful when you're creating your own pizza design using the controller. And then the electronics, which was built by Zach. So basically this is the Raspberry Pi that runs the software that controls all of the pumps, the cheese, the salami. And that's the interface for it. And then these are that's the 5-volt regulator for the Pi and the 6-volt regulator for all the motors. And then these are just MOSFETs for turning the... Uh, motors on and off and the pumps and so forth and the whole lot's battery powered with this battery right here